Absorbing is proud to present Jim Masterson to educate horse owners about the Masterson method, an ideal complement to Absorbing products and great way to build trust with your horse. Absorbing and the Masterson method is a partnership dedicated to the good of the horse. Here's Jim with some great information to help you and your horse. So after we've released tension in these muscles with the hind end points, the next step is we want to ask for some movement in the, in the pelvis and in the sacroiliac. And we're going to do that with the leg release. I'm going to uh, step back here and face backwards. Uh, step forward of the leg facing back is the safest position. Stay in close to her body. And I'll get down on my knee to protect my back, but you can do this without being on your knee as long as you brace your elbow on your leg so you protect your back. I'm going to come down, ask for her foot, and just get it up and get under the toe. Let go of the cannon bone. Don't hold on to the leg or she'll try to get rid of you. Get under the toe and support the weight of the whole haunch in your hand. You don't want to be too far forward with the foot. You want to be pretty much down in a line with the stifle and toward the midline. Now once I'm here, I'm just going to support the weight of her leg till I see and feel her relax her pelvis down into my hand. You can see if you're paying close attention when that starts to relax and drop. So it may take a second or it may relax right away. There she goes. She's dropping a little bit up here. And as she, lower, as she drops the pelvis, I'm going to slowly lower her foot straight down to the ground with the idea of this dropping, not necessarily of the foot, the leg straightening and coming to the ground. You can see this come down as I come down. What we're doing is we're getting movement in the sacroiliac joint and the pelvis in a, in a relaxed state now that we, we've released the tension with the points. A lot of issues behind can be released by asking the horse to release tension in the, in the pelvis and the sacroiliac through, with these techniques. Lead, lead swapping, uh, difficulty on a lead, short stridedness behind. A lot of this involves tension in the muscles that pull on the pelvis and the sacrum. And as I slowly, slowly lower her foot to the ground with keeping the weight in my hand, when you get close to the ground, you'll switch under the ankle, out from under the toe, and come straight down to the ground. If I can get her to rest her toe, so much the better. If I can't, if she has to straighten her leg to lower it, it means there's more tension up there and I'll need to spend more time doing this. It's very helpful with this to go side to side, back and forth, right hind to left hind. And the longer she rests in this position, the better. And that's the, that's the basics of this technique, is to just get relaxed movement in the pelvis by lowering the leg with the weight in your hand. I'm going to stay here with her for a second, just to give her a chance to release even more tension up, up above in the pelvis. Good girl. Good girl. The longer I allow her to rest in this position, the better. So if the horse will stay here for a long time, it's in your best and the horse's best, in, best interest to just stay with it. And that's the basic technique. It's just in her case, she's relaxing into it and staying with it. So I'll just stay with her. What were actually this drop in the pelvis, the slope is really good. The Masterson method aligns naturally with absorbing for the good of the horse. Visit absorbing.com for more about the absorbing line of products and mastersonmethod.com for more about the Masterson method.